YouTube people, this is Jesse, Craig Collector 01, here today for another Power Rangers review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Power Rangers Conga Megazord from Power Rangers Wild Force. Um, you guys will have to excuse me if I don't know um, exactly the, the correct names for um, these Megazords. I believe this one is a uh, Bison, a uh, Gorilla, I'm assuming Polar Bear and a Black Bear. And a uh, maybe eagle or condor of some sort, phoenix maybe. Um, I haven't really seen much of make of a uh, wild force, so you guys will have to excuse me. So we'll take a look at the individual zords. Here is the black bear. He's got a uh, nice red painted eyes, which he's having a bit of time showing up on camera here. He's got nice painted red eyes, nice gold detailing in the uh, paint, silver waist with gold pinstripes, uh, nice, um, I believe this here, yeah, this is a sticker, I'm not really sure, like I said, what the symbol stands for, uh, nice uh, gold painted claws here on the bottom, just really nice, uh, his mouth will open, but it's mostly, um, to shoot the, the missiles that uh, this set come with. I am missing one missile. I believe that's the only thing I'm missing from this set. It's, I think he's got a little button down here that'll let him shoot it. And the mouth will um, collapse back up. Or maybe... Yeah. It just collapses. Okay. So there's the bike there. And the white polar bear is basically the same. He has all the same gold detailing. A different sticker. This one looks like a mountain. The other one kind of looks like um, fire maybe. I'm not really sure. Um, he's exactly the same. He just His paint detailing is a little different. The polar bear has blue eyes. Um, other than that, completely the same. His mouth opens. Same as the other one. And he can shoot the missile just the same as the white bear does so we'll set him to the side next up we have the I'm going to go with Phoenix I'm not sure if that's right he has quite a bit of articulation in his wings uh, they can rotate quite a bit and the, the tail which is actually the wild force megazord's head uh, the same bird and he does have an opening mouth with some really nice um, metallic paint detail on the wings, chest, and he's got a nice little green gem there on his forehead. This kind of makes it pop with nice red eyes and die cast feet. These are die cast metal. I'm looking off to the side. And this is the uh, bison, which originally didn't come with the Congo Megazord, it comes with a. Um, it's a, in the American, the American version of this set only come with a, um, molded bison with, um, motorized. It was stuck in the leg position, but it was motorized so it would roll and kind of look like it was walking. But I come up with my lot that I purchased had enough pieces that I could have an extra bison to use with this set. And it, honestly, it looks a lot nicer. I would recommend if you do get this set, to get another bison off eBay loose just to use with this Megazord. Let's see, let's see. Oh, we didn't look at him. He's got some gold detailing on his sides. Uh, more of the gold pinstriping on top. Nice painted hooves and red... Um, up here closer to his head which that's mostly for the Megazord mode but you still see it in the bison mode he has uh, green eyes and metallic gold painted horns and our last guy here is the ape again with the nice yellow um, unified yellow pinstripes they all seem to have yellow uh, pinstripes nice red thing on the chest really nice um, painted face he has red eyes you can kind of pick out in there. Um, 
the two green, really nice green metallic. Uh, it'd be it's what's going to be his chest in the the Megazord mode. He has die cast uh, toes that can move. His legs can move. Uh, arm, hand, just a little bit. It can do that. Uh, but the arm is pretty well fully articulated. Um, and pretty nice. It rotates. So you can mimic him hitting his chest if you so choose. But he's really nice. But so we'll move on now to the Megazord mode. So we'll start with uh, Bison here. And what you want to do is take these front feet, fold them down. These back ones, fold them in. Come back here to the back. Lift up these panels. Just like so. Split the top. Open it up. Then what you got to do is take the Bison. Flip it up. And the legs are die cast. This here is die cast as well. Gives it a nice heft to the legs. Peg it in. Fold these around. They'll snap in. And split them. Then what you got to do. Is. Take the top of the head. And you can see here. It's on this assembly that. Rotates almost diagonally. And then drop the head. And that is ready for the leg mode. And like I said, with the Jeff, with the uh, American version, it comes with a pair of the legs that looks just like this, but they're locked um, kind of like that, and they're motorized. It's got like an on-off switch, and they roll. Um, I do have those legs. I should have brought them in for this review, but um, I forgot actually. So we'll get him out of the way. Next one we want to do is go ahead and get the bears into the arm modes. They, they're both arms. And what you want to do is collapse these feet. Just push them straight up. Pull this back up. And this is the part for the front legs. They rotate back and up. But to do that you have to offset the arm a click to get them rolled up into place. Then in the mouth and that is the what will be his his left arm it'll be our right arm so in the polar bear zord we won't spend much time on him is exactly the same there you go and that's uh, what that arm looks like next we take our bird and we'll set it over there in the gorilla so for the gorilla what you want to do is go ahead and take his toes fold them all the way back just like so then I like to fold these arms out for for the moment and you're going to take his waist and bottom assembly and swing it up just like so and then down in here there's a little um Panel. It's a panel wrap. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a uh, just a little flip out uh, clip in a way. Yeah, just like so. Then here's where you take the bird and fold his wings just out from the body like this. Flip the toes down, and then you kind of want him in a. Uh, in this position because what you're going to do now is with the monkey you're going to fold this die cast um, assembly up but then you take the bird and you slide him head first underneath here and then this clip plugs over these holes here in the leg so he plugs on like that you have to line the wings up just like so. The wings um, attach with these little green uh, pegs. They just sit in there. They don't um, lock. Then you fold this assembly back. And it slides over the black clip and locks the bird in. And then here's where you can take the arms. 
fold them all the way down and there's a um, clip and clip port here and it snaps into place just like so then you got to do the same on this side clip it into place now that's got the uh, bird and monkey done we'll save the head reveal for last so just take him there is a couple of um, metal die cast uh, clips there and a couple of ports right there on the bison so you're just going to take him and plug him on then you need to adjust the wings and I'm going to leave these horns down for a minute till we're done with the Megazord mode so next is the black bear and the polar bear so the head reveal we'll have to adjust this a little bit he's fairly big when it comes to Megazord you take his chest open it take the monkey head swing it around close the chest and he's got this little fin here on top of his head he kind of looks almost like a uh, Roman warrior so and there she is the head and the head is uh, actually really nice he's got the uh, a lot of the gold uh, metallic paint with the metallic green but he's really cool he does have a, a weapon for his Megazord mode. It's this gold chained, um, I don't know what it would be. It's like a uh, hook or some sort of chain weapon. And you can uh, fold his arm, put it in the polar bear's mouth and close it. This, the second part to get him to hold it is kindly complicated. He doesn't always like to do it. But you can see how he looks with his weapon. I don't think that's a. That looks pretty cool. I think it's a really good Megazord. Um, I would recommend him a lot. He does. Uh, I think he looks really good. One of the best out of um, Wild Force but um, I hope you guys like this review don't forget to like comment subscribe thanks for watching guys this is Jesse Crave Collector 01 signing off a bird that I never wanted I'm getting close to